Let's get shot one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. Maybe we're getting out of here. I promise. Give me back my baby. Are you clear it hunger? They told me your name was Sam Porter. But you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up.
Okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nod City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only, and I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. 
in person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Emily was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah, I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lachna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Sam. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. 
the terrorist voidouts, the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. Like how she was? I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. Higgs turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod. And there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Bridget? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. <sighs> She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. Unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs cryptobiotes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam, this is critical. special day if your mommy hadn't. You're not born yet. But the more candles, the merrier, right? Soon it'll be time for you to come out into the real world. I promise. And then, we can have a real party. Well, happy birthday. Available orders. <laughs> We've been getting near constant time fall in this region for a while now. As a result, everything you built for us out here has been completely destroyed. 
The good news is, we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the Capital Not City Distro Center. As for the not so good news, chiral printers are currently unusable due to instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. You always do.
Ah, yes, you did it, Zap. Oh, I could kiss you, you sweet son of a bitch. I thought it was all over. Sam. You're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard men too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells, effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward. Similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The Great Deliverer. The only one who can reach Amelie's Beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's Beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary. But Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? <clears throat> this is only a theory, but... She wants you. Wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE, and this is her endgame. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. 
as cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. Might as well make it official, then. You ready to deliver the package? I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still... If it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. I thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kid's done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. Concentrate. Help me look for Emily. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her!
London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. The last stranding has already begun. Amelie? You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I've been waiting for you. Right here, ever since. You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been? Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's that supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget? Those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. I was getting shot one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no, it's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me 
and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together. With me. Until the last flame wings out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left any. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain. Knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope, or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? us whole again and when the time comes you'll have to stop me you are the only one who can promise you'll remember Sam I'll be waiting for you on the beach I remember you knew you always knew I did and I didn't I had so many dreams of the future know which ones to trust which is why I decided to share them with you and the others but to connect the dots to make sense of everything you need perspective you need time time has no meaning to me I am not a line I am a single point. Which is why 
all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread, the strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible. To live life one day at a time. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in, come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam, I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. <sighs> if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. <laughs> but you and the others came together, connected. And you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <sighs> Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. 
When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. The first operation. I was only 20. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha, in that one. Amelie, my ka, in this. of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Amelie. Am um, is French for soul. A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead. Which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself. Including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So. I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. The longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, 
for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know? I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe, and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate. And dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, a death stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the la last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE -E doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Thank <laughs> you.